case about match day two? I think it uh, shows what rugby is all about. Uh, the smaller team with greater determination won the game. Uh, before the game, you'd have thought that it should be Togo that should win the game, but you could see the passion, the dedication of the Beninois. They fought, they worked as a team together, and it was a great result. What exactly is the, the permutations after this result for Ghana? Well, I think it's, it's, it's clear that uh, uh, Ghana is still on top, uh, followed by uh, Benin here. We have to play uh, Togo and make sure that we win by the right kind of margin in order to, to be able to go through. When you talk about right kind of margin, where exactly are you expecting? The last time it was more than 40 points. Yeah, you know, that we play rugby not worrying about the scores. We play to try and play a structured game. Uh, when you play a structured game with 15 aside, you will win. Uh, you don't make mistakes, you don't drop the ball, you have confidence in your teammates, then you can succeed. So we're going into this really looking at how do we play a good structured game. We know if we play a structured game, we're as good as anybody. If we play as individuals, then you cannot win. Going to play a team that has been wounded. They came in, Togo came in with the expectations that they would just run in route about Benin. Unfortunately, Benin surprised them. Won't, they, won't Togo approach the game with all that? Game? I'm sure that Togo will do. Benin lost to us and they came here revitalized, feeling stronger and wanting to win. So we have to come into the match giving full respect to the opponents. After all, Togo were the favourites before this tournament began. You know, they've beaten uh, Ghana before, they've beaten Benin. But, you know, who takes the match more seriously and who wants to win will win. So I'm sure the coach will have our players very, very focused, very, very fit, and um, we should win. Is that target still on, the target you gave the team? Oh, the target is. We set the bar very high. It's even higher than you can imagine. Life is about setting targets you can't quite reach. Aim for the stars and you'll catch something. So we aim very, very high indeed. We won the other day, we left, we we're happy for the victory, but we were not happy that we did not, were not more clinical in crucial points of the game. You have to aim for perfection in such a game. And every game we seek it again. We are one, we are one big family, we work together, we've seen the mistakes, we're working a strategy, and uh, hopefully on Sunday, God on our side, we'll be able to put it together. So after the victory, what will happen to Ghana Ragi and the national team? If we're able to win by the right margin, then, you know, you don't rest on your laurels. We know that we are moving in the right direction. We start preparing for the Sevens. We start preparing for the Commonwealth Games. We start preparing to take Ghana to another level. The kind of progress we've made in the last 12 months, last 18 months, you've seen it yourself, is, is massive. We have a physicality of player now that we didn't have before. We've got players over 124 kilos. We've got players over 6 foot 5, five in height. We've got power, we've got youth. We are now we're teaching them how to play the game of rugby. Mentally, they're beginning to think like rugby players, not like footballers. That means you're working for each other. You are dying for each other. You're not worried about material things. You understand it's about respect. It's about teamwork. It's about fighting on the pitch and not leaving any energy at the end of the 80 minutes at which, we, which you play. So we are getting the right approach to the game. Is it perfect? No. Do we have some way to go? Absolutely. And we are all learning, all of us, all the time. So I'm really happy with where we've come from the league to a squad of players who want to play. There are players that nobody imagined would be playing for the national team are now in the squad. And you can only imagine next year where we're going to get to. So we need to get over this, not rest on our laurels, get stronger, prepare for the seventh tournament, which is the Commonwealth Games, and know that from there that we have to set another standard, get our fitness levels even higher, get our physicality even higher, get our sense of bonding, our sense of respect, our sense of teamwork, our sense of understanding that we cannot be beaten. We cannot feel pain. There is nothing like a closing time that we will fight to the very end. That is rugby. And I think Ghana is slowly getting there. We have some players that we saw the other day who are already there mentally. We have an excellent coach from Zimbabwe. We have an excellent set of technical people who are working with him. Captain Black, Dan Hopp, others are providing input. I'm involved in the process. We value the opinion of Ernest Hansen, of other people at the same time. And we're trying to get ourselves into combinations better, trying to get players into different positions, looking at the capacity of players. You see Kelechi now was a center. He's now playing at back row. 
And we have a lot of changes like that that we hope to bring to the game that will show people now operating at their fullest potential and make Ghana proud. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank you. Do you have anything to add? No, my brother. <laughs>